What's up YouTube, Simply K here and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, as y'all have read by the title, and today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different. To be honest, this video idea just popped up in my head. So I just jotted down a few little notes that I want to speak about. But as y'all have read by today's title, today I'm gonna to be talking about five things that I've learned since my last relationship. And just a quick little disclaimer, this video is not to bash the other person or to really go into details about my past relationship, but it's just to, you know, fill y'all in on some things that I've learned about myself and relationships in general since that situation. So if you're interested in this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, make sure your post notifications are on so you get notified every time I upload. And without further ado, we're gonna get straight into the video. Also, if y'all keep hearing that beeping noise in the background, I am aware that my smoke detector needs a new alarm. I mean, not new alarm, but a new battery. So I'm gonna go get a new battery soon, real soon, like tomorrow soon. But anyway, let's get straight into the video. So I'm gonna be going from my notebook so that I'm not rambling all over the place. So one thing that I've learned since my past relationship is you cannot date potential. And I'm pretty sure everybody have heard that before. And I'm pretty sure everybody is guilty of that in some sense. But you cannot date potential. You cannot date someone on the strength of, I can change this person, or I see something in this person that they don't see in themselves. Because a lot of times we get so caught up in wanting a person to be how we expect them to be. And then when they're not that, that's where issues lie. So try not to date potential, but allow that person to let you know and let you see who they are for what they are and who they are. And then you go from there as to whether or not you want to continue talking to them and actually building a relationship with them. And I feel like this is kind of iffy because I mean, that's, that's see, it depends on the person, but then again, if it depends on the person, I'm still kind of like making excuses. I don't know, but anyway, yeah, don't date potential. The next thing I've learned since my past relationship is don't lose yourself in that relationship. When two people become, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever the case is, you're still your individual selves. You still have to learn yourself, know what you like, know what you don't like, and still learn how to be you without that other person, if I'm making sense. A lot of people get caught up in just the relationship at hand, that they lose focus on themselves as individuals, and it be kind of hard when you're away from that person to kind of like do things on your own or for yourself. So don't lose yourself in a relationship and also realize that you still have some individuality about yourself, which should in a nutshell make the relationship a little bit better. Because if I'm always doing something with my partner and I don't have time for myself, it kind of like drains you. Especially when y'all get into those moments where y'all arguing about stuff. Sometimes you need to just take a step back, go do your thing, let them do their thing. So don't lose yourself in the relationship. Still be your individual self. Still have your friends on the side. Still communicate and be involved with your family. Because at the end of the day, if that relationship don't work out, who's going to be there for you? Your friends and your family that was there before you when you got into that relationship. The next thing that I've learned since my last relationship, which I find very, very important, and which was something that was really, really strong in my situation is just because the person that you're with doesn't see something as a problem, doesn't mean that it's not a problem for you. 
people have to learn how to communicate and I mean that on both both sides like you have to learn how to communicate with your partner you have to learn how to bring a situation up without it turning into an argument but at the same time when you know your intentions are pure when something is really really bothering you and you want to bring it up to that individual and they just automatically snap on you and feel as though you're trying to argue that brings more tension and strife into the situation but don't try don't hinder yourself by not speaking on something just because you don't want to argue with a person or just because that person don't understand how you feel because even if they don't understand how you feel the fact that you even told them or expressed it to them it's better to get that off your chest than to keep it in because keeping stuff in and just you know, prolonging stuff, sweeping stuff under the rug. Eventually, eventually you'll have to lift that rug and vacuum up under it. So, just because they don't see it as a problem doesn't mean it's not a problem for you. Learn how to communicate effectively. And if for whatever reason you feel like the situation, the conversation is going left, you know, just take a break from each other. Just take a break and even if you want to take a break i don't mean take a break like break up but i mean like all right we're gonna stop talking about it right now and we're gonna carry this conversation on later so yeah just because it's not a problem for them doesn't mean it's not a problem for you the next thing that i've learned since my past relationship that i still struggle with today with understanding is healing takes time there's no timeline on healing and regardless if the breakup or the situation was a mutual agreement to where you are no longer in a relationship or it just ended terribly wrong it doesn't mean that thinking about that person or reminiscing about certain things it doesn't it doesn't don't feel bad for still thinking about the good even if the bad outweighed the good if i'm making sense because at the end of the day you're human they're human regardless if the situation didn't turn out the way you wanted it to be at the end of the day you still had good moments so it's okay and it's natural to feel these certain feelings about this person doesn't mean you want them back doesn't mean that you wish things were different it just means that you're human and you have feelings and that you're still trying to heal from a situation in the past that is no longer and you have to learn how to navigate and move you know move differently and to not allow that to affect relationships in the future so that's a big one for me is learning to understand that even if the situation was toxic even if the bad outweighed the good i'm not saying that it did with me but i'm just saying even if the bad outweighed the good even if you had your own toxic moments and you played big parts in situations doesn't mean that you're wrong for still thinking about the good healing takes time there's no timeline on healing so if somebody is telling you like why are you even thinking about this person or why are you even thinking about that you should have been moved on it's not that you're not moving on it's just that you're human and you have feelings and don't let nobody tell you that you don't have feelings and even if you're not expressing it or whatever and you have moved on and you're happy where you're at whether you're single or in another relationship doesn't mean that you didn't care about that person that you were with before and the last and final thing that i've learned since my past relationship is once you start throwing blows once you start having to throw blows it's time to go and i'm gonna just leave it at that read between the lines when it comes to that but once it becomes physical it's time to go it's really time to go you have to understand that your mental and emotional health is way more important than what you're putting yourself through i'm gonna just leave it at that so i hope y'all enjoyed that video i didn't want to make this video real real long but i hope y'all enjoyed it if you did give this video a thumbs up if you have some things you would like to share down in the comment section below about things that you have learned or just want to elaborate on some of the things that i spoke about just comment them down below and even if you don't 
and you like this video, just hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe and make sure your post notification bell is on so you get notified every time I upload. And I'm just trying to stay consistent on this whole YouTube thing. And yeah, without rambling on and on and on, I'll see y'all in my next video.